What's up guys, and welcome back to my Dark Souls 1 Daughters of Ash playthrough! I think it's been like three weeks again since the last episode, so uh, oopsie daisy and all that. But let's not dwell on that, but instead let's get straight to business with the claws that I got and can finally use. So, uh, well, since the gate here normally, you know, the pre-Lord Vessel placing gate fog wall thing doesn't seem to be here. I don't see a reason to not dwell deeper, go deeper, see what horrors await me. Oh dear god, it's dark in here. <laughs> this is already terrifying. Okay, so I might want to consider either the cast light sorcery or a uh, school lantern if I am to go further in. The lighting seems straight out of Dark Souls 2 and that is not a compliment. I apologize, I love this mod and I do think the changes in the lighting are cool but I just, you know, I don't know, it reminded me of some areas in Dark Souls 2. Anyway, we'll see what we'll find at the end of this path. I assume the fight against Nito will be here, but can we actually enter the fight itself? I guess we'll have to wait and see. And apparently my damage is exact same with both. Both claws, at least for now. I would assume the <clears throat> fire upgrade path would be better than lightning or whatever it was called, voltaic or something. Well, this is death in any case. And yeah, I think these were, you know, the attack ratings of them were, you know, different. One was 259 and one is 187. And yeah, if these are like in, you know, original without the mod, then I think you can make a fire weapon out of a plus 5 weapon and lightning out of a plus 10 weapon. So if I was to reverse the upgrades, then yeah, I think the lightning one will be higher, but I will check that out when I go to a blacksmith next. But for now, I guess I'll just run back to my souls. I guess I am allowed to just ignore the bone tower here for now. Uh, must gonna equip my Estus, not Estus, Cestus on my other hand. Oh, I did have the school lantern too, good to know. Uh, yeah, I am still fast rolling good, so that gives me some more utility. Because now I have some strike damage on my other arm and all that. A ritual Grotto. Interesting. I am terrified. Despite me putting on a brave face, I'm not sure if it is very brave though, but still. Soul of an Exiled Witch. I think that might have been 5,000 souls and it used that uh, dark bead or something. You know, that he shotgun kind of hex. Well, dark magic, whatever. And I think jumping from here would normally take me to the White Titanite Slab, but this time... Soul of a Dark Wraith and a Voltaic Partisan. I keep saying interesting, so I will try to not do it this time. Okay, I could use this, but we'll see if I will, because, well, fist weapons are kind of the thing I was going for here. And the Soul of a Dark Wraith. There we go. Whoop. Used to acquire humanity. Okay. Oh, and I got that Doomed Thief. Used to become deadly when weak, so I'm guessing like a red tear stone ring kind of deal. But yeah, used to acquire humanity, so okay. I was thinking one, at, you know, a secondary effect could have been that you do like the dark hand hug drain thing, but okay, I guess you just gain some souls and humanity out of using that one. And something from here, too. 
Why that I chucks? And the fact that there is, well, seems to be absolutely nothing in my way here. You know, other than those two, whopping two bone towers after the bonfire. I'm really expecting something bad to, bad to happen any time now. Also, I wonder if there's more skeletons here than normally. Could be just my imagination, too. <sighs> okay. The disturbed bones protect the Gravelord's slumber. Uh... Disturbed bones, generally, I think, you know, some, so like something about grave rubbing? So the first thing that comes to mind would be the Pale Eye Orb that I got the last time. But I was also thinking it could be the key to access Anor Londo. Or at least I assume it would take me to Anor Londo at the top of Sin's Forge. I also don't think I need to, like, break all these skeletons here to access this. So I'm not quite sure if I should... Oh, another item there, good to know. Uh... Whether I should visit the Top of Sense Forge again, or uh, try to go for the grave thingy casket where I got the message that the Pale Eye Orb was stolen from. It could be possible that I will just place the Eye Orb back there and then I can enter through there. Black Knight Gauntlets, okay. But yeah. I guess I can't be too surprised that the, you know, I couldn't actually access anything. Also a theory now that, yeah, since I can't progress here and there isn't really any enemies or anything, and I was mentioning those uh, clearly, you know, non-animated, you know, the corpses of the giant skeletons around the to normal Tomb of the Giants, I have to do something, and yeah, they will definitely come to life. I just can't see it being... I, I, I can't see there being any other option, any other possibility. The giant skeletons will come to life, and when the giant skeletons have come to life, I'm guessing I can also go through that fog gate there. There, that's my analysis, theory, suspicion. But for now, I guess we're going back then. I know I left some items behind the Tomb of the Giant, so... I don't really mind going back, but... A shame, no pro further progress there. But as I said, I'm also not surprised. Now then, I gotta find a way to get to that item that I saw there last time. Not sure if I should try to backtrack to the last bonafire before trying to get the items around here, or just work with what I've got, meaning going from that bonafire where I started from. Now that I am not buffing my weapon, let's see if I can do like anything against this guy. Anything, sure, uh... I'm sure that he can do more than anything to me. No, oh, no. Seriously, to this day, I think these guys are some of the m most, you know, m some of the scariest enemies in the entire game. Okay, I probably would do way more. Okay, the giant skeleton is alive. Probably would do way more damage by not falling to my death <laughs> with the fire claw. So I guess I'll change it. Change the hands, switch the hands. Now let's try this again. Preferably while gaining my souls back. Okay, that works for me. Yeah, he fell all the way down. Now then, which one of the skeletons were you who came after you? After me, was it you? And was he triggered by just time passing, or was there some other element? 
guess I'll keep going for a couple of seconds, see what I find. You know, other than the dogs. Alright, of course. Uh, I am doing less damage than with the <laughs> lightning one. Oh no. Might be dying here in a second. And that's because, yeah, the... <clears throat> L1. Okay, now the skeleton came to life. So I guess like fighting near them might trigger their awakening. Anyway, yeah, since, you know, L1 with a left-handed weapon is like the heavy attack. So, you know, makes sense that it was stronger. I just wasn't thinking. Which is the case many a time. And here was the fake bonfire, so we will not rest at it. I will have to try resting at one eventually though, you know, just to see if I can still escape after triggering it. If I know that it's a bad one. Scientific pursuits are important after all. Oh no! So I think if I drop jump down from here, I should be able to fall down to that other ledge. I actually am not sure if I ever knew this ledge is here, because it's eh, a tiny shortcut, I suppose. But hey, at least we'll get this All Father's Ring, so if that is not something to do with uh, miracles, then I don't know what the fuck. Boost Miracle Power and Attunement, okay. Okie dokie, I have no idea which parts of that is new and what is not. But I do know that it gives me two attu attunement slots and it will boost Miracle Power, so you know, that's pretty neat. So, with these these, these, two rings, I think I could get an additional seven attunement slots with just rings, so that's actually pretty fucking good. But I was not meant to actually change my rings, so never mind that. Definitely gonna play this again later, either recording it or on my own and doing a full-on Pure caster run. So 61 with the buffed weapon and what 21 with that, so okay. And the 19 with the unbuffed, so okay. In other words, use the claw if you don't want to buff your weapon, but if you're gonna buff your weapon, then, well, obviously, just stick to the... the Cestus. Though, I suppose, one other option would be to uh, get the... you know, get, get the claws out of the elemental upgrade paths. I may have called them infusions in the last episode, because, you know, Dark Souls 3 habits and stuff. But you know, uh, a revert them back to non-elemental so they can be buffed, so I could have magic, magic buffed claws. Titanite chunk. I almost wanna fight something before my buff runs out, but... That does mean actually fighting. Yeah, that guy went down easy enough. This one I have my doubts of about, yes, words. 
Okay, so I managed to backtrack all the way here, so I guess no reason to not keep going. I might be safe from that guy, but maybe not, so I'll just keep going. I think I need to slide down that one coffin, because uh, I'm pretty sure I saw an item there while editing that I didn't, didn't think to check while actually recording last time. And, and, uh, I think the item is there normally too. But then again, I didn't exactly take the normal path down because I was thinking of how to reach the first bonfire of the area. Also, yeah, I just realized I'm out of Estus and I kind of have to walk out of here, so <laughs> I have a strong feeling that I'm not gonna make it out alive on this particular run attempt. Unless I manage to clear, clear the jump again. Huh. Well, I'll look around first. So nothing particularly cool here either, so one more level down with the coffin sliding and then sticking to the right. Did not mean to roll there, but worked out okay. One humanity. Oh, the humanity. I could use full control, but yeah, okay. Definitely wasn't too high. So I'll try to get back to that bonfire with the full control casts that I have, so I shouldn't take any fall damage. If I could rest there, then, you know, my backtracking would be hell of a lot easier. There we go, first try. Works for me. And for some reason I automatically got up. Okay. Uh, yeah, could have, could have been some kind of trigger that I unlocked my frame rate again. And I apparently don't have quite enough for a level up. Yeah, I guess I'll risk it and keep moving forward. I think Vamos was selling either a weapon smith box or armor smith box or a repair box. So, if I could make it to Vamos alive, then that would be just a dandy. Though, now on my way out, I will try to trigger the first fake bonfire again and see if I can avoid dying. Okay, so I put on the best flame defense equipment that I have. Assume I, I, I mean, I assume the flame the explosion would do fire damage, so I'll try to light it and then just roll away immediately. Seems bad. Okay, I can. Uh... Okay, technically I could roll away, but... Clearly the radius was... A bit too much. <laughs> so I'll just get my souls changed back to my old equipment and keep going, moving out. No, 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 fuck. <laughs> At least I had that second to pick up my souls again. <laughs> Alright, got my souls back. This time without being an idiot. Well, actually the bloodstain wasn't even near the bonfire, mimic bonfire this time around, so... That made not being an idiot so much easier. Oh dear, oh da 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 da. <clears throat> oh dear god was what I was meant to say, but you know how these things go with, you know, whale skeletons around. Panic. Panic and chaos. Okay, so I can take them down in like three punches, so... I could just lure them here one by one and, you know, chip away their numbers, but... Mm, I don't know. Ah, fuck, I think the necromancer saw me. Ok, 
Okay, one more down. Actually, I think if if this is the last one, there might actually be less of this than usual. Which is an extremely welcome change, in my opinion. So I think I'm actually able to get to Vamos pretty peacefully. Okay. Works for me. Then produce, me some wares. produce me some better recording equipment. So you know I'm, I'm not exactly one to talk. Weapon Smith box. Titan I charge, I can buy elsewhere on one bones. Uh, sure, I'll get two. Yeah, I guess it's fine. That'll be all indeed. Now, I'd like to just run for the crystal lizard that is already gone. So we shall not do that. But we could try to clear some enemies if we can do so without dying. We have failed because of a surprise wheel skeleton. Alright, we're back to having just two of those wheelie boys left. Would be a real fucking neato if I could get that one one coming after me so I could take him out before going for the rest of the enemies. And okay, yeah, the necromancer's range is not enough to reach me here, so I guess I'm at least safe from him. Yeah, this is good enough. Now just gotta get the skeleton here. Almost to the spinning range. Ow! I did not remember the <laughs> fucking spear poke is that long. So there we go, that guy's did 5,000 souls. Then I guess it's safe to just rush this guy. Another necromancer down, so another bunch of non-respawning skeletons, I think that should give me. Yeah, there's definitely some skeletons, alright. I guess it's safe here. So if I drop down from here, I think I'll end up on that one ledge where I may have visited before, too. Yeah, I did get the item from here. Never mind then. So back I go. Oh! Another necromancer. In a way, his appearance is quite welcome. Okay, 
had to put interesting commentary on hold for those wheel skeletons. I still think I need the Eye of Death for this to actually do anything, at least, you know, on a normal playthrough. A normal playthrough, so nothing probably happens here either, but hey, at least I'll have tested it. Testing has been done. So, back to backtracking. I think this time I actually have to pass... Pass the demons. Fuck. Was hoping I could have taken them one by one and, you know... Oh, okay. With luck, one of them may have fallen down. And that was exactly what I wanted, and I'll do it again. There we go, and I did not explode with the hit. That went surprisingly well, I gotta say. And I don't see any extra items, so... Let's continue. Okay, so I'm close to a bonfire that was behind here. I guess I could actually go for it. It'll be a long walk to get back and, you know, I'm stuck walking here anyway. I'm stuck walking out of here anyway, so it's not really an additional badness for me to activate the bonfire on the way. I don't think I... never mind, there is an item. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't think I saw an item up there, but I'm not sure if I ever really even looked. Sort of an old soldier and a couple of standard arrows. Now then, there is that Titanite demon in the distance, but I should be able to avoid him just by walking here. Good, good. Well, then I think there might have been a necromancer somewhere nearby too. But not too close for, you know, to prevent my resting, so... Leveling up we shall do. So I got my dexterity to where I needed it for the claws, and that is where it shall stay for now. I could go for more strength for the... Dragonbone Fist if I'll eventually get it, but... Nah. Endurance, I think, will be my calling for now. 25 endurance, or something along those lines. I guess I could have used some consumable souls to get another level up, but since this guy's right here next to a bonfire, I don't really mind giving him a couple of tries. So 46 without... I mean, yeah, with the lightning. Uh, 80 <laughs> with the unbuffed Cestus. And I am expecting my best form of. Oh no! <clears throat> Would be the buffed Cestus, but I actually need to get a chance to buff my weapon. I did not mean to cast Fall Control, but okay. Yoink! Alright, so some scale, I mean, necromancers do respawn, I had kinda forgotten that. And yeah, this is easily the best firebomb. Easily the best way for me to damage this guy right now. A bit early that dodge, but apparently it worked out. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Ah. 
Okay, yeah, that was 100% on me. I could feel myself lagging with my dodge pressing. There we go. I can't really insult Titanite. I'll check the description in a second. Can never quite tell what it is about those Titanite demons that always gives me so much trouble because on paper they're not that tough. They they are pretty slow. They have pretty obvious tails, but I always fucking always seem to time their attacks wrong. But oh well. The guy went down and we got insult titanite. Reinforce weapons born from special souls. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okie dokie. So, uh, I guess just titanite scales but with a different name. Then more endurance because I do want more stamina and equip load so. Not really a difficult choice. Oh no. Although with more intelligence I will eventually gain more damage and better spells. And at some point I would like to incorporate some miracles too, so I guess I have to get some faith eventually too. Oh right, before going forward I all, almost already forgot the coffin thing where I got the message about the Pale Eye Orb. So let's see, now that I have it in my inventory, return, return, <laughs> return orb to crypt. Orb replaced, they will say that they do. Ah, the Pale Winged Servants can resume their duties at Sin's Forge. So I think that's a pretty obvious, obvious sign that it did exactly what I, oh no. Expect it. Wait, I hope that wasn't the guy who who, who would have served me at Saints Forge. But okay, ah. Now that I did this, what would happen at the fog fog wall at the Tomb of the Giants? I will try it out. I won't rest at any other bonfires, but I will run straight for that one bonfire there and see what happens. Okay, so made it all the way back here without dying. And I don't think I see the fog wall anymore, so... I have a feeling there might be a boss fight when I drop down. Good to know. I definitely wanted the full control. And a weapon buff. Touch the dead bonfire. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't see any items or anything around, but I can't see anything, anything good coming out of this. Though, as long as I don't actually rest at it. There shouldn't be any real consequences.
Okay, I was thinking it might have just warped me to, to some kind of uh, battle arena version or there would have been a fog wall here and uh, there now would be a boss fight for me to fight. I will still make sure though. But it could be that it only acts as a, you know, way to teleport me back up if you come here too early. Like a fool. Like I did. Because, yeah, if you don't have the Lord Vessel, you can't exactly just walk out of here. So, I'm guessing I need to trigger something completely unrelated to make what I assume will be Nito's boss fight here. At least that would make sense to me. Yeah, and these guys are still here, so, you know, this is definitely the same. I did not actually mean to suicide there, I was considering to actually jump off the cliff, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think anything actually changed by me going there, so I... I do assume I need to do something else somewhere to actually activate, like, the boss fight there. Or... If not a boss fight, then some other kind of encounter, like an NPC or an item to be found or anything. Also, these guys seem really, really weak to bleed, but I'm not complaining. Now I can climb back up with this, and there may be some item somewhere around, maybe not for me to pick up. Ouch. Down we go, I guess. Oh! I should have been a better player. Possible that I did leave some kind of eye on item behind, but we are definitely still coming back back for this place in the future, so I guess that is enough of the catacombs, the bone chimney and the under crypt or something for now, so let's back, let's get back up to the surface and I guess I could go try out how the claws fare against the gargoyles. Probably not that great because my best form of damage was still definitely, you know, just buffing, buffing the Cestus. And while I was at the Vamos, I sh could have and should have checked the, you know, returning the claws back to non-elemental, but hey, that ship has sailed, so I guess Andre is my next stop trying that. Your Highness, I am in... Oh... Whoa, easy you. I have walked into a dead end. Was just eyeing at that one. <clears throat> oh, Lord Trick, you silly. Goose. The dingy set and the black eye orb. Dead. Okay. As expected. I have been bamboozled. Black eye keeps constant watch on the city of the gods, Honor Londo, so I can only assume the event will still happen there. Well then, I guess I should try to make it alive to the... I would say Undead Parish Bonfire. But you know, the one before, Saints Forge. But you know, I can't remember its exact name this time around. So I'll activate the Bonfire, then I'll run to the Gargoyles once, see what happens. Then I assume back to the top of Saints Forge. 
Although I don't think I have visited the... Well, revisited the... Haunted Asylum either yet, so that could also be one thing to do, but maybe not right now. All Father's Parish was the name this time. So, time for another Gargoyle attempt, as I said. 46 damage, so, well, okay, I guess I do at least see the damage being done. I highly doubt that these guys bleed, being statues and all. So I guess I'll get back to my... ...punching after a buff. Yeah, that's definitely still the way to go. As I have stated in the past, yeah, I, I do think I could take them out with my current weapon. Current weapon and its upgrade, but I don't really want to spend time on it right now. So, back up the Sense Forge, or I'll give one a try at the Hydra, at the bottom of the Dark Root Basin, or whatever it was called. So let's put the rusted iron ring on, just in case. If I happen to wander too deep into the water, it might actually save my life. Though that would require, me the ha require that I actually make it to the water. Dear god, I hate how you, you know, just lay on the ground for half an hour after getting hit with this. There we go. Is it enough? It is enough. Then we should be pretty much close enough, so... Oh dear god, oh no 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 no. Okay, the damage was more psychological than physical, so let's not let it bother us too much. More psychological frogs. There we go! God damn, that last hit is always such a bitch to actually hit. But down he went, and the ring really, really helped. Also, there seems to be a treasure under the waterfall. 
The Brigand Sit. And I'll just check a bit in here because, you know, uh, well, since the dust was in an entirely different location, well, I don't think this place will really be related to dusk in any way, but it could be related to something else. Possibly still the entrance to the DLC eventually. There does seem to be a chest, though. I will assume it's a mimic. It is not. So what do we find? The stone set. Okay. That's cool, I suppose. But it might be worth checking this place out later, too, once, you know, resting in a bona fire and, you know, kind of resetting the air, uh, area. Not arena. Area. <laughs> but for now, I guess I'll just get back to on top of the, you know, get to back to the top of Sin's Forge as I had planned. A quick little stop here at Andre. Well, uh, On my way up, uh, modify equipment. Alright, I guess I could make the other cestus. Cestus, cestus higher, or with these. Yeah! It's exactly as I expected, so I could turn the Voltaic Claw to plus 10 and the Fire one to plus 5. Do I want to do either of those? Honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> because if I would revert, say, the Fire Claw to normal, then I could buff it with my, my, my sorceries and probably have it be my strongest weapon option so far. But I don't know. I, I guess I'll just whoop, keep my current setup going for now. I probably won't waste upgrade materials on these for now, though. That one, however... Sure. Let's get this to plus 9. I could even get it to plus 10. Sure, I guess. No. I will get the other plus 5 one to plus 6 and then up that just a little. It may be just a parry tool for now, but we'll see what it will become, and I already have a place where I can buy large titanite charts, so it's not all that big of a deal, whatever I decide to go with. Yeah, I guess I'll just buy more normal shards with the wrist and keep going. So up here we are. This time we actually did some damage to enemies on the way. Oh thank god, uh, something actually happened. <laughs> After triggering that, I can only assume this will summon the gargoyles as usual, but hey, let's see. Man, I love the claws on my hips. They look like the shittiest armor. No change so far, I was half expecting this to be dark from the get-go and I maybe have to light it up or something. I wouldn't be surprised at anything with this mod at this point. Honorlundo, the city of the gods. And yeah, we are indeed in Honor Londo. And there is one of those blue flying drakes. Oh no. But yeah, we are in Honor Londo. We have not visited the depths at all. We have not been... Well, we kind of have been to Blight Town, but not really. All the demon ruins, Quailax, whatever place. All of that is still completely untouched. To us. So yeah, the progression in this mod, once again, 
I'm really, really digging it. So let's see if we find at least something that looks like a bonfire. Man, what a change. She has switched <laughs> the wall on, wi on which she is leaning on. Well, welcome to the lost city of Anor London. If you seek Lord Grin, exit here. If you are the check, what follows there are. Hmm. What is it, Porter? If nothing uh, suspicious or special there, I suppose. All right, I never checked. Yeah, at least without actually paying attention. With with actually paying attention, but yeah, I can't buff weapons that are elemental in this mod either. It's a shame, but I understand. Now then, I kind of feel a bad feeling about me being able to take these guys out. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't dodge at all, though. Oh no. Maybe I'll just keep it going and, you know, explore a little. Well, since I could enter the Tomb of the Giants, I mean the ritual grotto, I mean the inner parts of normal Tomb of the Giants, I guess I have no reason to not check what's the situation with the archives. This guy I could try to kill since there's only one of them. Oh my! That lovely, lovely bleed the damage. Escaping! Well, actually, if I could kill this guy, then there would be just one left. Who I could then kill and loot the chest. But, you know, it's not gonna happen like this. <laughs> and yeah, I honestly have no idea with a weapon like, you know, this claw compared to the just well, uh, you know, if both of them would be at plus 10 at my stats, which one would be better when buffed weapon uh, damage-wise, or like stamina consumption or stu and stuff, but the claw has bleed, so that alone kind of makes me think that against a lot of enemies it would be the more better choice, and at least like the better range too. But considering those things, I wouldn't be surprised if these have a slightly higher stamina consumption. So killed three of those, the chain looks normal, but just in case a hit before opening. Magic Weapon Sorcery. Oh, what fun at this point of the game. But hey, not complaining. I suppose with a uh, shit ton of where attunement slots, I could gain... Gain more, you know, casts of the spell. Speaking of attunement slots, that reminds me of rings and rings, well I'm not sure if there is any point in me having the rusted iron ring on at this point anymore. Also, I could enter here. Well, that was spooky. Like, really fucking spooky. Okay, you have a 
butthole protection, so no backstabbing you then. I did do decent damage though, thanks to my lightning damage, I assume, but... I have no idea how far that way I could continue, so I suppose I will still keep going forward. But I'll try to get that chest first. I'm too curious now that I got the first one. The chides are dead. And the chest is mine. Well, take Kite Shield. Not gonna use shields much on this playthrough, if at all, but I might as well check it out. It has lightning, you know, upgrade path, and its lightning block is 33.6, <laughs> I think it was, so not that great. Ah, okay, the elevator is working. For a second there I was wondering if you, you know, like, have to activate it from somewhere. Perhaps from, you know, yeah. Uh, can't remember the name, Duke's Archives kind of direction. Not sure if I called it Sense Fortress earlier. But the Archives, anyway. Ah, I chest. Pretty sure there is nothing here normally. Twinkling Titanite. And that guy. Who will most definitely not quite torch me, but uh, shock me when I try to pass him. There's at least two of them. And I did not see any chests around, so okay. And the elevator is still as it's, you know, as I expect it to be, so... Forward we go! Hopefully surviving this. Okay, not too bad, but still a bit scary. Painting Guardians, as one might expect. Gotta be careful, because although my weapon is fast, so is it theirs. This place seems almost too similar to normal, so I can only assume something really, really different is about to happen. Fuck. Oh. Well done, Guardian. Dropping the chandelier and for a second I'll get my throwing knives out out well enough. I'm just gonna ignore the chests for now and luckily I saw that other painting guardian now directly behind me so I know he might come for me in a second. Or maybe not. But at least we reached this 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 elevator staircase thingy. So at least progress has been made. I suppose I'll just keep going. Downwards, see if I get the bonfire from its usual location. I 
I suppose I will. At least this looks really, really familiar. Sulfur rust is not a magic claymore. I guess I'll just trust this. A bonfire lit. Now then, how the hell do I get you open? I could try out the Allfather Serene. Just because I think it had the same icon as the White Seance Ring, it could be that there's something completely different to trigger this. You know, no, I mean like not even a ring, but something like completely, completely different. I suppose I will find out in due time. I gotta call it quits again soon, but before that, let's see just how far I get before I die. So up the elevator we go. Towards progress and oh no. Possibly death at this rate. The door seemed to be shut. Though what do I know, it might actually even open from this side this time around. Not gonna try that out right now though. Okay, I was already being shot at by great arrows by... I mean with the great arrows, so... Gotta be careful. Oh no! The lightning isn't exactly what I'd hope to deal with right now. Oh, Sigmire! Gotta say, not the best place to deal with him right now. Deal sounds bad, but like... Do business with. I can't fucking believe I died there. That's embarrassing enough for me to want to <laughs> end this episode here. <laughs> hey! Ah, Sunlight Tomb in the City of the Gods, okay. Hopefully we'll be lesser than three weeks until the next episode, so <laughs> I'll try to get back to a more regular schedule. Ah, I didn't actually kill a boss this time around, but I did some good progress, huh? in unearthing the secrets of the undead crypt and all that. At least some of them had made my way to Anorolundo, so who knows next time? Possibly reaching the boss fight that is normally the Ornstein and Smoth. I assume this time too, but we'll have to wait and see. Possibly getting the Lord Vessel after that? I have no idea. Only time will tell. But hey, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys sometime maybe. Bye!